All right guys, so it's Friday and I'm working on the food for the tea and these are the little shells for my spinach artichoke filling. And I have some cooking right in here. And I think I'm just gonna do two batches because there's only one, two, three, four, five, six. Six people are gonna be there, including Elena, so it's not like we need to feed like a ton of people. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna work on the caprese salad. So yeah, and then Emery is asleep right now. She woke up once last night, which was amazing because I'm sick. I have like a sore throat, and you know how you just like don't feel very good, you're tired, and you're like, oh, I just wanna sleep like a full night. And thank the Lord because she did sleep pretty much the whole night except for once to eat. So that was really awesome. So I got to sleep all night and I'm just happy and I just feel refreshed. What are you doing? She's doing this clicky thing with her tongue. Go. Yeah. Oh, somebody's here. Do it, Ems. Ems. Do it. Go. Yeah. So I'm working on some cookies now for dessert. They're a white chocolate macadamia nut. Super good. Mmm. But I just had lunch. And my grandma just sent us some Omaha steaks for Christmas. This is like Travis's Christmas present from her, which is so sweet. And she sent me those flowers yesterday and Travis these steaks. That was like the sweetest thing ever. Here, there, there, there. <laughs> you might want to come up here sometime because it's greasy. Oh yeah. <laughs> my mom's changing my light bulbs for me because I never do it. <laughs> Ta-da! light! It's like I procrastinate so bad and we're gonna do that one right there too. Got a text message. Okay, so we're getting ready for the party. My grandma got me these dishes a few years ago for Christmas, and I love them, and I never get to bring them out. I made cookies, and um, these are my bowls that I haven't made yet, and these are my teapots that I have, <laughs> um, and I think my cousin's bringing another one, and I think we're getting pretty much ready. Which one hey, goes with the hey, Buck, are you excited for your best friend to be here? Which one goes on there with the... This one is that the candles? That's to buggy. Okay. Oh, cool. And that's, and the, that's the candle. Perfect. Are you happy to see your best friend? Yeah. Yeah. She shook her head, yes. yeah. Emily, she said she was really excited to see you because you're her best friend. She's <laughs> Can you give her a hug? Aww. Wow, Emily, your hair is so long. Look at how long her hair is. She, she has the hair like Aurora, huh? Hi! It's your new little cousin! Yeah! <laughs> He's like, I want my food! <laughs> oh, it's a little candle! Smell it. I like that smell. Oh, we can light that. Hi, Emery. What's going on? Do you like? Do you want to light that tomorrow and make our whole house smell like that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So I got some packages, and I'm gonna open them, and I'll show you guys what I ended up getting. So thank you in advance. I haven't seen what's inside yet, obviously, but you guys are seriously so sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these and I'll show you guys what they are. All right, you guys, so we got a ton of amazing things. So we got this Scentsy little candle, which is so awesome. I love Scentsy, and I actually have another one of these plug-in ones, and I love it. They're awesome, and so when I saw this, I was like so excited. And this is from uh, Nick, Nick? And yeah, so beautiful. And it says, you are my sunshine, which I love. So I'm so excited about this. So thank you so much. And then Dylan sent us, and Dylan, I do remember you. I remember um, the last card you sent us. 
He sent us so many awesome things. He sent us candy, which you know as well because we are candy obsessed. And he sent us some pictures of his photography, which is awesome. You're an awesome photographer. Those flower pictures are beautiful. And then he sent us two mugs with our names and it talks about our names and the meanings of our names and um, kind of like our personality types based on our name, which is kind of funny because they match our personalities like perfectly, which is funny. And then <clears throat> two movies and Dylan, sorry, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> This movie right here, this Alice in Wonderland, I used to watch this when I was little, and this movie scared me so bad. I thought it was so scary, like when the, um, when the, uh, what is it, the Queen of Hearts pricks her finger, and then like the baby turns into a pig. <laughs> like, that freaked me out so bad. So I'm actually excited to watch this because I haven't watched it since I was little, and all I remember about it is that it scared me. So thank you for this. And then he sent Buggy a little um, mermaid outfit. And then Travis a gray fox shirt, which is so nice. And I'll definitely have Travis try this on to see if it fits. I'm sure it will, though. It looks like it will. And then this little mermaid camera, which Buggy's going to love. And then also this, which I'm assuming it's one of his pictures that he took, a photography picture. And I think he photoshopped our names on it with our wedding date. So that's so sweet. I love it. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I do remember you, Dylan, and your husband, Chris. And thank you so much for the... Sensi and you guys are seriously so kind and I can't thank you enough and I'm really really excited to show Buggy these things and Travis I'm sure Travis is gonna love this too. So thank you so much. I genuinely appreciate it Never feel like you guys have to send us things, but like we always say we appreciate it and um, You guys just seem to know us really well. So thank you. I also got this scarf too I forgot to mention this and this is also from Dylan. So thank you Dylan. I love this. This is really totally me like I would buy this at the store if I was shopping, so. So Kara's just showing me all the awesome stuff that you guys got us. I especially like this. <laughs> <laughs> but that's so awesome. I love these too. I know. No coffee will be going in that though. I know Thomas is not a coffee drinker. But I am a hot cocoa drinker. Yeah. So. But. Uh, and get the candy. I mean. And Travis also said he remembers this with the bunny. That's awesome. Yeah. Those are really cool. These are always really good to get. Sensi. Uh, Sensi. Which I love Sensi. Yeah, we need this because our house stinks. Ever. Just kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> airheads. I know, well, I'm going to eat one of those need... right now. Yeah. I love airheads. Oh, I haven't had these sweet tarts in a long time. He said he wants to play basketball with you because he's like five, or he's like 6'11". Yeah, tell him that, hey, my basketball team would love to have you on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd need him on it. <laughs> I know. Good morning. This little girl is just getting so big every day. It's crazy. So I was holding her up and I feel like she's like trying to balance while she's standing. It's just crazy. I just feel like she's just getting so big, huh? Yeah. You got zombie kitty? Are you talking? And every time she sits on her tummy, she like rolls to her hands and knees like she wants to crawl. So I feel like she might start crawling soon. And if you guys haven't noticed, my voice is like gone. Well, it's not gone, but it's like <clears throat> I'm losing it. And I'm sick, so uh, it sucks. But <clears throat> I think me and Travis are gonna go up and finish up our Christmas shopping. I just have a couple more presents to get for people. So we found the girls' Christmas dresses. Doing this one for Emery, which is so cute. I just freaking love that. And then Bug liked this one a lot. This one's really comfy. Yeah, super, super soft. comfy. Even though it's not like red, it's so cute. It would be cute to get a red one to match Emery, but she likes this one a lot. Yeah. Flowers. She'll wear this a lot too. I like the one yeah. she can play in. Yeah, that is super comfy. Super large. I think just an extra large. I think. I don't know, that seems kind of... I bet you that would be better. So Travis told Bug she could get a treat. Why? Because she did really good and ate her lunch. Yeah. Like all of it. All of her lunch, which was really good. High five. What'd you get? So Travis made me mad. So I did the worst thing a wife could do. I took his headphones, hey, and I hit him. And is there his video game headphones? Where are they? 
<laughs> Where are they? I don't know. I'm not mad at all. Yes, you are. What are you gonna do? Nothing. He's, I told him he needs to be nicer to me, otherwise I'm gonna keep him in forever. You're gonna do what? I'm gonna like, hide him forever. You're never gonna find him. Whatever. What'd you do with him? Do you really want? I told you they're in this room. Let me find my headset mug. I'm trying to fix these. They're broken. <laughs> Whatever. They are. I don't know what's going on. The signal keeps blocking the internet. Mm, I'm sorry. It's here. Whatever. See how bad he is? Alright, so I just filmed this once and my memory card was full, but um, we just got done watching Safe Haven. And if you haven't seen the movie, then I would say fast forward this part because I'm going to ruin the whole plot line. But if you have seen it, then you're going to laugh at this. So at the very beginning of the movie, the blonde girl meets this brunette lady. And Travis looks at me and he goes, that's his ex-wife and she's a ghost. He's like, I bet you money that's his ex-wife and, and she's a ghost. And I was like, oh my gosh, babe, that's stupid. I'm like... This is the same movie, or the same guy that wrote The Notebook. Like, he's just a romantic comedy writer, so I thought it was gonna be like a basic movie of him saving her life and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you're stupid. And then like 10 minutes later, he's like, no, I bet you money that lady's a ghost and it's his ex-wife. And I was like, whatever. And he kept saying it through the whole movie, and I was like, whatever. And Travis always predicts movies, so it's like not uncommon for him to do that. But sure enough, at the end of the movie, turns out that the brunette lady was his ex-wife and she was a ghost. Because he's just like psychic like that. He just like knows. It's not that. It's like... So most of you guys know I have an art channel. I'm a creative or art director for a living. It's just like if you put your mind or yourself in the writer's shoes, like that's what I always do, <laughs> and say, okay, what are they going to try and do to make this different than every other romantic comedy? And also there were some weird things like, you know, when they go on those walks and they both live out in the middle of nowhere, plus she's like an attractive lady in a town like that, mm -hmm. that, you know, has no boyfriends, she's not picking up or doesn't mention that Josh Dramel character at all. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's got to be his ex-wife. There's no, all the clues and hints were like easily pick up. But yeah, but I would have never thought, oh, that's a ghost and that's his ex-wife. Like, the well, fact that you also, thought that that's true. Also, things, like, it, at first it was just a guess, just because, you know. Mm -hmm. And then it, it, it was like, okay, she's not, something's odd there because it never shows her house. Mm -hmm. She never, like, interacts with any other person other than the blonde girl. It was pretty easy. Still. Yeah. I was still like, whatever, you're just guessing that's stupid. That's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> How shocked were you though that I was right? Not super shocked, honestly, because he always guesses movies like that. Hi guys, so we are headed to, oops, to Pappy's. Me and Bug and Emery, and we're gonna have a play date with Helen and Harper again, so that's gonna be really fun. And Travis has a basketball game, so that's where he's going today. Um, and then I don't know what we're gonna do later. Buggy wants to go to Addison's house, so maybe we'll do that. But that is the plan for today. Hey, buggy, stand up and model your outfit. Turn, turn in circles. Ooh, wow. Cute. I love it. You got some leopard pants. Oh, that was graceful. <laughs> Woohoo! Harper. <laughs> Harper. Do you like it here? Huh? Do you like it here? Do ya? 
<laughs> Do you like it here? Do you like it here? <laughs> so I got my phone case. So now my phone doesn't feel like it's gonna break because it's so tiny. Uh, so yeah, check out this cool background that I have. I'll show you guys. I found it, it was a girl on Instagram. Isn't that cute? She's like a tattoo artist and she like did this picture and I was like, oh my God, that has to be my background. <laughs> So I'm making Buggy a grilled cheese sandwich. Which one is my eye? I don't know. It looks like you grew a spatula. Did you grow a spatula? No. All right, guys. So that is it for the vlog. Turn the TV off and throw my candy wrappers away. These are the candy wrappers from one of our subscribers. And Elena is taking a bath. Check on her real quick. And then I'm going to go edit and get this uploaded for you guys. Are you working on the coloring? Mm -hmm. Cool. Hey, you girls.